Hi, welcome to Climbing Daily. A couple of weeks ago when we were over in Innsbruck, we grabbed a word with Adam Ondra, had a cup of tea in his van, and here's what he had to say. So, um, thanks for letting us in the van. <laughs> <laughs> you had an amazing year. We saw you here last year, almost a year ago to the day, and since then you've done what? You did the double of winning the Baldwin and Lead World Championships, 109A, last Sportiva Legends only. What was, what was the best? What was the highlight of last year for you out of all of that? The highlight was definitely the World Championships in Lead. That was where all my training effort was was heading to, and completing this big dream for me was unbelievable. I actually had never thought that winning a competition could give me so much satisfaction. That was your specific goal, you wanted to win the World Championship in lead. Yeah, that's for sure. That's what I had been training since February 2014 until September. It seemed like last year you did a, you did a lot more of the competitions and the same again this year. Becoming more of a focus? Well, last year the main focus was, as I said, the World Championships in lead, and that's why I did all the lead World Cups. Actually, last year I had not been planning to do any competitions at all in 2015. But after the, the victory in Gijón, some, some, something changed in my mind and I thought, oh, it could be actually cool to continue uh, with the comps for one more year and try to do both, try to do both disciplines. And that's what I will do now. So there are maybe 14 or 15 comps this year if I want to do all the disciplines. So it's going to be a lot of competitions and well, a lot of traveling, but I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be exciting. I'm interested why you were so motivated last year for the Lead World Championships ahead of anything else. Well, I think that if you only climb outdoors, you might lose the motivation for the hard training to, to have some goal in your mind. And I feel that only with one certain project, with one certain goal in my mind, I can make some further progression. In terms of my climbing, I, if I only traveled around, I would probably maybe stagnate with my level of climbing, but I would probably not get better. The competitions were a motivational push to train harder, to train in a more organized way, which definitely made me stronger on the comps, but in the long term, I truly believe that it's gonna make me a better climber outdoors as well. And do you enjoy the comps, like competing in front of a big crowd? Is that something you, that interests you or excites you? For me, competitions are not only about competitions themselves. It's about the whole process of training and being mentally prepared and then giving everything I have on the comp itself, which is very, very difficult part as well, to climb in the, in the front of the crowd. <laughs> I like both. I like uh, competitions, I like rock climbing. Definitely, if I only had to compete, the climbing wouldn't be that fun as it is. I, if I had to choose one, I would definitely choose rock climbing. But competitions is, are interesting. Thanks, Adam, and hard luck on not winning the competition. I was cheering for you. Adam will be taking part this week in the IFSC Boulder World Cup in Colorado, so check back on Monday for all the results. In the meantime, we will see you tomorrow.